From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> and now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. It's one of my favorite times of year. You know, somebody with as many flat screens as I've got. I am Mr. HD, Mr. DVR. I'm a freak. I don't own an iPod, I would tell you right now, or an iPhone. I don't. There's lots of other gadgets I don't own, but the flat screen of the DVR, a must. Gotta have them. Gotta have them because I'm a big sports fan. And one of the great things about living alone is there's nobody to start vacuuming at kickoff time. NFL, college football, and add in all of the other uh, wonderful sports going on right now. National Hockey League. Anybody notice, by the way, the L.A. Kings and how well they've been playing? Uh, yes, they did lose two games over the weekend. Uh, you're right about that. But uh, they had won four in a row before that. <laughs> I mean, if you have not tuned into the L.A. Kings, you're really missing something. They have been uh, playing really, really well of late. Just great. So I never miss a Kings game uh, in person when I can, on TV when I can't be there. Uh, add in the NBA, of course, we got the Lakers uh, here in L.A. Uh, we are primarily Laker fans. And the Lakers, uh, they finally lost their first game of the season after winning the first seven in a row. So there has been an awful lot of activity, an awful lot of stuff going on. And yet I know that uh, sports can be uh, difficult in your home. I know that uh, if you are not in agreement on sports, uh, by the way, you're not in agreement on sports. I think it's time uh, that you make a decision there. I honestly believe if you're a sports fan, you have to live with someone who is at least tolerant of sports. I mean, I live alone because... I couldn't stand the idea that someone might stamp their little feet and complain that I'm watching too much sports. So if you're going to be in a relationship, if you're going to have someone live with you, if you're going to get married, it has to be with someone who absolutely, positively, has no problem with your sports viewing habits. Somebody who will not vacuum a kickoff time. You know kickoff time sounds, right? Uh, somebody who understands that pro football is on here on the West Coast on Sunday morning. It's on Sunday afternoon. It's on Sunday evening. There's Monday night football. And the NFL Network now, if you get that, has Thursday night football. There's games in all those times. And by the way, we had uh, the game on last night, Monday night football. We had it on. We were watching. Uh, there was uh, Cleveland and Buffalo. And it went down to the last minute. Quite a game. You got, I'm just saying, you got to be with someone who's not going to be a problem. Somebody who's not going to give you a hard time. And um, I'm wondering how that's going for you. I mean, uh, I don't care if you're male or female, doesn't matter. Do you have a problem with your spouse's or the sports viewing habits? Uh, are you cool with what they watch on TV? Do they watch too much? Do you wish they watch a little less, a lot less, stop watching altogether? Guys, are you with somebody who complains, gives you a hard time, gets in the way of the TV? Anyone out there own a cat, ever had a cat, and you have like a portable TV? This is in the pre-flat screen days. Like one of those portable TVs where the cat could climb up on top of it and then uh, put his tail in front of the screen. Have you ever had a cat like that who's an attention whore? Oh, yeah. People in my family had a cat um, that would constantly sit on top of the TV for warmth and put their tail right in front of the screen. And it would slowly, like a pendulum, it would swing back and forth in front of the picture. Absolutely. Do you have the human equivalent of that? Do you have somebody who's constantly trying to get your attention? Somebody who's constantly offering to have sex with you or somebody who's constantly offering to uh, uh, do things with you uh, when the game is on? 
I've been with people, for example, who wanted to go uh, to swap meets or antiquing or out shopping. Right when the big game was on, it's time to go. Time to go. And the worst thing that ever happened to people like that is TiVo. That's the worst thing that ever happened. The idea that you say, oh, no problem, I'll just record the game and watch it when we get home. Do you know what I used to do? I'm going to tell you right now. When I when I didn't live alone, you know what I used to do with the DVR? When she would try to talk to me during the game, I would press the pause button. I'd go, oh, yes, what, what did you want to say? Because here's what would happen. <laughs> I would explain to her, I would say, take all the time you need to talk to me because I'll just keep watching when you're done. It'll take me longer to watch the whole game, of course. And once she figured out that was true, she stopped talking to me during the game because she wanted me to hurry up and get it done with. But there was a period of time when I figured out, I'll just press the pause button and let her go on and on. Blah, 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 blah. It worked. But being that we're in the thick of it right now, the World Series just ended, along with the baseball playoffs. But we still got college football, pro football. Uh, we've got pro basketball and the beginnings of college basketball. We've got hockey. We've got, uh, of course, uh, auto racing is still out there and it's on many channels. Uh, there was that big UFC pay-per-view the other night. Sports galore. And I'm wondering uh, how many of you have uh, have had issues. Or maybe you don't have any issues at all. Honestly, though, I think you have to be on the same wavelength. You have to be with somebody. If you're a guy who likes sports, you have to be with somebody who at least doesn't mind. And, my God, hopefully likes it. And, ladies, if you're with a guy who likes sports, uh, you have to like it, too. Or, at the very least, uh, you have to find ways to occupy yourself so that you don't ruin a good relationship. Am I wrong? Tom, 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom, 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. I'm 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's Lisa on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Put me on. Hmm? Hello? Yes. Hi. Hi. How are you? Great. Am I on the air? Oh, did you want to be on the air? Uh, yeah. Oh, of course. I'm right. calling in. I'm a radio person, too. I love it. Oh, okay. Well, hold on here. I'll get you on the air. Okay, cool. Thanks. Okay, hold on. It's the Tom Likas Show, 1-800-5800-TOM. Lisa, Tom Likas Show. Hello. 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 Can I help you? Hi, this is Lisa. Yes, I know. I think you're, uh, am I on the air? Did you want to be on the air? Yes! Ah, hang on a sec. the Tom Likas Show, Lisa. Hello. Hello? Hello? Can I help you? I'm here. I know. <laughs> you keep saying the same thing over and over. Why do you say that? Well, because you said that. Said you what? saying the same thing over and over. What did I say over and over? <laughs> Oh, gosh. Um, so do you want to go to my, my website? 
Not really. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Lindsay on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. How are you? I'm so happy to be talking to you again. Second time for me. As well you should be, darling. I am. You make my drive home on the 405 enjoyable every day. So How cool. For that. <laughs> thank you. I wanted to give you a call because I have to say, I actually look forward to football season every year. I have a sports fanatic husband, and Sunday is all day in front of the TV on the couch. And that's actually my day where I have lunch with girlfriends and run errands and see family. And it works out wonderful. I leave him alone. He leaves me alone. And it's actually a perfect day for us. So you like it because you can get time by yourself. You don't like it, but uh, you don't bother him either. I actually don't mind it. I, I'm good for usually one football game a day. So he does you know, his thing during the day, and we watch the Sunday night game together, have dinner. And it works out really great. I mean, it actually doesn't bother me at all. I think that's his – I look at it as a hobby, and that's his hobby – and I have my own hobbies, and I think that we'll think it works out great for everyone. Yeah, you see, I think I think uh, when when you've got somebody in the household complaining about somebody watching sports, it's a control issue. Absolutely. I mean, there's no reason. I mean, my advice to I am in an extremely happy marriage, and we respect each other, each other's interests, and you know, there's if you're going to complain and bitch and moan and do all that, you're only going to make it worse for yourself. There's absolutely no reason why. I mean, if someone's obsessive and it's like, you know, 24 hours a day, then you're obviously not with the right person. You need to deal with that. But it's, you know, it's a hobby and it's someone's interest. So you're better off not fighting it because you're pretty much going to lose the battle. Oh, I so. think you're right about that. Thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. By the way, how many of you saw this? TiVo. You'll be LA. <laughs> You'll be able now to to order Domino's pizza off your TiVo. So there you are, badoop badoop badoop. You're fast forwarding. You're watching your football, whatever. And suddenly you decide you want a pizza. You'll be able to use your TiVo to order a pizza from Domino's. Holy cow! <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Just what America needs now. You're sitting home, plopped on the couch, watching a football game. And you're too lazy to get up and get a phone. <laughs> so you use your TiVo to order a pizza. This is true. Unbelievable. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Samantha on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom. Long time, second time. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> well, unlike uh, the last caller you had, um, when Sundays roll around, um, I'm right there on the uh, couch with my boyfriend watching football with him. So you like it or you're just there because you want to be with him? No, you know, what the funny thing is, is that I used to not watch football because I didn't really understand it. I love sports, but football was one of those things I just really didn't understand. And so um, when, the, when the season came around, um, I decided, you know what, the better time to learn is, you know, right now. So uh, I sit down with him, and he lives with a bunch of guys. They all sit down. They bring out all their flat screens so they have every game on, every TV. And if I have questions, I ask them, and I actually like it a lot now. So, yeah, I'll either cook for him, and I'll watch it with him, or, you know, I mean, there's really nothing else to do, so... Who's your favorite team? You know, I really can't say I have a favorite team yet because I'm still, uh, you know, learning, like, all the statistics about the different uh, the teams. But my boyfriend's is the 49ers. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of still looking for one. Very nice. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm a full supporter of you. I, I totally believe in everything you say. And, you know, I'm a girl. Sometimes I'm going to do the things that you hate. But, you know, I'm one of the few that will actually admit when I'm doing something wrong. So. Wow. Yep. We need more of you. Stephanie on the Tom Like is show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Am I allowed to call you that since oh, I'm a girl? You sir, who's your daddy? You are, Tom. Yes, I am. Anyway, I was calling to say that um, I'm kind of like a lot of the other girls I've been hearing on your show that have husbands and, um, you know, that also like sports alongside their husbands. And my husband's a hockey freak. And by freak, I mean, you know, like five fantasy teams going at the same time. He plays uh, or he researches it, um, does all the stats, three hours a night, you know, stuff like that. Wow. So you're into hockey. 
I actually really like hockey a lot. I like it better live, like any sport, but I can watch it on TV. That's not a problem. Who's your team? Well, the Red Wings are my team because I'm originally uh, spent nine years in Michigan, so I was kind of was browbeaten into me to love the Red Wings. Oh. See, the way I look at it, you're never moving back to Michigan. Uh, no. <laughs> so who cares? I mean, I grew up with the New York Rangers, but come on. I haven't lived in New York in 27 years. What do I keep? That's true. I'm looking forward to um, being inducted into the Kings fan club pretty soon. Oh, very good. Do they have a hazing ritual or anything? I'm sorry? Do they have a hazing ritual? I don't think so. I might have to buy the first round of beer. <laughs> <laughs> But other thought than I'd that, check. I don't think there's anything, uh, you know, they don't dump your head in a toilet or anything. <laughs> Is that a hazing ritual someone has? I didn't even know. Um, I don't know. I never went, I was never in like a fraternity, or I'm sorry, not a fraternity. I, I was never in a sorority, so I, I never went through any kind of hazing. So you are married? Yes. And your husband uh, has fantasy teams, and who's his team? Um, I actually don't know a whole lot. He talks, and it kind of goes in one ear and out the no, other. No, no, I mean, does he have a favorite NHL team, not a fantasy team? His favorite NHL team? Oh, his uh, Dallas Cowboys. Uh, they're not in the NHL. They're in the NFL. Oh, right. Well, the Wings would be his favorite NHL. I'm sorry. I'm all right, so he's also from Michigan. Yes. He's actually he was born in New York, so he likes Syracuse. Um, I don't know who plays in New York for the hockey, but... Um, New York Rangers, New York Islanders. Uh, that sounds kind of familiar. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I'm not a sports like freak. I, I can't quote stats to you. I can't even tell you my favorite, um, you know, team other than like the team name. I couldn't tell you Borowski or Skadansky. Or, like I don't know who these people are. <laughs> but I like seeing them beat each other up. That's fun. Hey, that's a start. A little blood makes a good show. No doubt about it. Thank you, Stephanie. One eight hundred five eight hundred. A lot of women calling in here. Lauren on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Dad. How you doing, dear? I'm great. Uh, you know, I'm hearing a lot of girls calling in and talking about how they weren't fans of you know football or whatever before. But uh, you know, I've just I've grown up absolutely loving football. My dad, <laughs> unfortunately, my dad is a huge Detroit Lions fan. And, uh, <laughs> unfortunately for him, hey, unfortunately for me, it's hereditary, but, um, I kind of, you know, I mean, I picked up, I, I picked up, uh, the Cleveland Browns and I'm also, uh, I went to school in Chicago. So, you know, I'm a Bears fan too. So you got to kind of pull your resources, but, um, yeah. And, uh, my boyfriend and I, we seriously, I don't do anything on the weekends anymore except go to go to bars and watch football. You know, every Saturday really? at college, every Sunday at NFL. Mm -hmm. Look at you. Are you attractive, too? <laughs> I surely think so. I have to ask. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. Wow. I'm... We need more of you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, no, I just, hey, I just had to give a shout-out for all the girls who actually like football. We are out there. Sounds good to me. All right. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Lauren. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Michael on the Tom Likas Show. What's up, Tom? Not much, Michael. You the man, Tom. I can't believe I'm talking to you right now. Oh, Me neither. God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, Tom, I'm a big fan of yours. Uh, I've been trying to call you for a long time. Yeah, so about the topic tonight... Uh, my my wife lets me watch what uh, the pay per views are like on you know the fights the UFC fights. She lets you watch. I mean, she watches it with me. Ah. Sorry, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous nervous right now. So oh, I was worried there for a second. Bad. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, she really supports me with like uh, if I want to watch like a fight, she she lets me watch a fight, and she because uh, I've been doing MMA. A uh, mixed martial arts. Yeah. So she she's been supporting me. So she, uh, everything's okay with that, you know. You you say you've been doing MMA. Are you uh, actually trying to get into the UFC or something? Uh, not not the UFC right now because um, I think it's too hard to get into the UFC 
maybe like some local local fights here. I suggest I'm not trying to get into affliction fight. Uh, you know the the. Some um, people, some people want to want to fight the UFC. Uh, some people are more uh, t uh, suited, I think, to KFC. KFC. Yes. <laughs> Funny. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, Tom, I really support you, and um, I'm a big fan. So, can you take me out? Yes, I can. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, come on! You have to have uh, the same sports vibe with somebody else. If they like sports, you better at least tolerate sports. And I'm wondering if you're in one of those situations where the two of you are not on the same wavelength, and one of you wants to interfere, and the other one is constantly getting upset. Uh, I'd love to hear more about that if that's you. Tom, like it. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. The Tom Likes Show. It's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Do you live with someone who likes to watch sports? Or maybe you're the person who likes to watch sports. Do the two of you agree on your sports viewing? I'm curious. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Katie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey, Katie. Hey, um, actually... Both me and my girlfriend both like the Kings, and we have uh, season tickets seven rows back from the ice in section 112, and I was kind of wondering why I haven't seen you at all this season yet. I've been there uh, all but one or two games this season. Well, it must have been like the one or two ones that I've been to. <laughs> well, uh, the, I was not there on opening night because I was at the Dodger game. Oh. Dodgers were in the playoffs, and I had... Uh, huh? You saw the same seat? I saw what? Oh, the same seats at Kings game. Oh no, no, no! I don't have the same seats. Well, maybe that's why I haven't seen you. No, I don't. And by the way, uh, I, uh, the section you're in, I was not in before either. I know, but I could see you from my section. Oh no, I've moved. Oh well, see, that's why I knew it. Yes, <laughs> but I go every night. I see Luke Robitaille every night. I see uh, Tim Lywicki, the president of AEG, the company that owns the Kings. I see him every night. Good. I Hi. see. Uh, I see a lot of people. Well, hang out in the royal room and at, at the seats. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right. No, and uh, a lot of the players. I, I hang out with the players. Alex Froloff. I know a lot of these guys. I like Kopitar. I, I've, I've met Kopitar several times, and Andre Kopitar as well. He's awesome. And also, um, I coincidentally work for the company that's one of the big sponsors of your Loose Goose Wine Festival that you've, go you've gone to. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, look at that. And yet you still haven't run into me. No. I, I could have gone the day that you were there. I think it was last year, but I missed you. I don't know. Keep trying, dear. Yeah. It, my, my friend saw you, but, you know. There we go. <laughs> All right. Well, keep going to Loose Goose and stuff. Thank you, Katie. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Here comes Rick on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much, Rick. Man, how you doing? I, you know what a trip. First time I ever try to call in and I get through. Look at that. Well, hey, you know I love listening to your show. I've been listening for about uh, six months now, and uh, I wanted to call in on this subject because it really hits me uh, at home. You know, if you know what I mean. It. Uh, it's been bothering me, man. I, you know, I'm, uh, I haven't really followed your rules, let's say, because I, I, like I said, six months I've been listening and now I kind of wish I had been listening for a while. But anyways, uh, I've been married for uh, four years now and we, you know, when I got married, I participated in sports as well as watch sports. Like, let's say, uh, I like surfing, but I like watching football on TV, you know, so they weren't the same sports, you know? But anyway, anyways, uh, you know, it just, it really bothers me because I had no idea how much women get jealous over a type tolerance policy. Can't be saying the S word on the air. You're out! If you uh, don't uh, know all the words you're not supposed to say, and it's clear to me that some of you don't, go to my blog at myspace.com slash Tom Likas where I list for you all the words you can't say on the radio. It's not us, folks. It's the federal government that stopped you from saying those things. 
And uh, the minute you say one of those words, we bleep you out and we hang up on you. I don't want to hang up on you that way, but I have no choice. So go to myspace.com slash T-O-M-L-E-Y-K-I-S and find out which words you can't say on the air. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here is Dan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Long time, first time. Thank you. Hey, I... uh you know, I've been going, I've been listening to these people calling in, and I decided to call up because I'm a big sport, uh, sports fanatic. And uh, my wife has always come down, uh, and, of course, we've been married 16 years, and I know you're against that. But in any case, uh, would always come down during uh, the sports like football, NASCAR, whatnot, and always sit there and try to have a conversation with me while I'm trying to watch sports. So... After about 10 years of this stuff, I turned it around on her. So what I would do was, whether she was watching her favorite movies on TV or on the phone, I would sit there and have basically uh, uh, a stupid conversation with her just to interrupt her so I could just make her mad like she used to make me. And that's what I did. And now she does not do that to me anymore. So for you listeners out there, turn it around. That's the thing. <laughs> You've got it all figured out. You bet I do. So, uh, like I said, uh, long-time listener, first-time caller, I'm not going to sit here and jam this up, and I'm telling these guys, turn it around. Give it back to them. It will stop. Thank you, Dan. Adam on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Pops. Yes, son. So, yeah, my uh, my now wife, before we got married, we used to watch the Steelers game, and after the Steelers game, she used to watch it with me, and then afterwards she'd come out in the Steelers panties, and she loved it. It was great. After we got married, now it's like, are you going to drink? Are you going to have your friends over? And then if I do, she's like, I'm going shopping. And she'll go out shopping, and then she'll bitch, and then after all the games are over, she'll say, you didn't help me around the house all day. All day, didn't help me. I just got home. She's looking at me right now. She's giving me the eye. <laughs> I'll bet. Now, yeah. now, does she have a job? She does have a job. She has a pretty good job. Okay. She should be the breadwinner, but, you know, after the mortgage industry went down. Yeah. Oh. What happened now? What's she doing for a living now? Now she uh, works for her uncle doing uh, law stuff, but she's done that for a while, too. So she's, she makes decent money. Mm-hmm. We but, you're now. but you're supposed to spend your Sunday helping out around the house. Yes. That's uh it's not perfect, Tom. Unbelievable. No. I uh, why, you know what? Why am I not married? Huh? Why am I not married? Exactly. All that fun you guys are having. I'm telling you, wash the dishes, you know, change the baby's diapers, Love feed the dog. It. Wow. Yeah. No, she's take... telling me she's telling me I don't do any of that. Yeah, well, uh, you know, she had every option to not get married. Isn't she the one who wanted to get married? She was, yeah. Uh -huh. That's what she's, you get. She's 30, I'm 26. Oh, boy. <laughs> I can't keep track. Oh, boy. Yeah, so after you get married, they uh, they stop watching the sports. They start bitching about it. And then now I watch hockey. Pittsburgh's my team. And she's like, now I have to watch hockey change it. I want to watch... K, K plus eight or Johnny K plus eight. And I'm like, are you kidding? Last night, last night the, or Sunday night football. She's like, I'm watching Johnny eight plus eight. I'm like, are you kidding me? And I don't even know what my, that is. My new plasma. What's I, that? I don't even know what that is. It's, it's this, it's the show with this, this guy and girl and they have like eight kids or something. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> Twins and, uh, it's, it's terrible. Ugh. Yeah, so that's, uh, you're that's killing me, Larry. And she's in the back and saying, oh, it's a great show. Yeah, it's a great show. I love it. I hate it. I can't stand it. And you're supposed to watch that. I'm supposed to watch that. Yes, Tom. Yeah, I'll just uh, turn on the computer and just listen to my sports on uh, on uh, online. Online, yeah. That's what I'm forced to do. Oh, my God. All right, Adam, sounds like marital bliss over there. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. <laughs> Thank you. She's still talking in the background. You can just imagine what it's like watching the game with that in the background. Oh, my. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here's Rob on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. 
Hello, Tom. How's Hello. it going, man? I'm doing okay, Rob. Th- this issue hits close to home. I've got a friend who who just recently got married in June. We're from L.A. What, what was on? What was going on in the NBA in June? NBA Finals. So it's like I had to go to this wedding out of the country because uh, he can't put his foot down. He, he's not even allowed to watch sports now. I can't believe it. Yeah, I, I mean that, that's just so freaking ridiculous. Like Sunday, we'll, we'll be talking about plays and stuff. He he doesn't know what we're talking about. He he can't he can't contribute to the conversation because his wife doesn't allow sports. Uh huh. And he, and when did he become like this? As soon as he got married in June. Like the other day, I do a football pool at this bar, and uh, he, the only reason he came out this past weekend was because his girlfriend was uh, having a, a night out. Unbelievable. And, and he kept getting uh, text messages uh, like, what are you doing? You're not watching that game, exactly. are you? Exactly, Tom. Tom, you're the best. Thank you, Rob, for the call. Wow. one 800 tom That's our telephone number. Robert on the Tom Like It Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. Tom, I was just wondering. Um, I'm not married, but most of my friends are. And it seems like they love sports more than any other person. Uh, who does? Married people? Yeah, because like, I guess they have nothing to do. So I guess like, they like sports more because it's like their only way out. Well, I think there's, I think, yeah, I think you're onto something. I think there's two reasons why married men like sports so much. One is to escape from their marriage. Yep. Uh, two is because when we're kids, many times uh, our dad doesn't know how to talk to us, and the only thing he knows how to talk about is sports. That's true. That's true. Because see, I, I'm not married, and like I like the Raiders and I like the Lakers, but I'm not like you know like crazy about them. But my friends that are married, oh, it's like their only way out. I got to go watch the game on my friend's house. Or, right, it's kind of uh, like it's kind of like the the guy who's getting married who's having the bachelor party, and it's very important that everybody show up. <laughs> it is. Uh, well, take me out, Kobe. Style. We're gonna have strippers. It's like uh, the women are stripping in my bedroom. Uh, you know, uh, any night I want them over. There. Why do I need to go to a bachelor party to watch some bad pornography and see some uh, chick stripping? I don't get it. <laughs> I tell you, Tom, because like me, I'm, I mean, I have a girl, but I'm I'm not serious. It's just like a thing, you know. And like I could do whatever I want, so like I don't have to have an excuse to go out, or you know what I mean, Tom? I know exactly what you mean, pal. Tom, 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 like it. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. It's the Tom Likes Show. The Tom Likas Show coming to you from Hollywood. Hey, if you're with somebody, married, living with them, whatever, uh, you've got to have the at least tolerant attitude towards the other person's sports viewing. If not actually get to enjoy it, get to know it. Count on the Tom Likas Show. Is your last name Chocula? Yeah. You know, it's my real name, so I get that a lot. But, I'll bet you, know, you I have do. I've had it. I've had it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I want you to be the rest of the Dracula family. Uh. Yeah, that's a goodie, isn't it? <laughs> um, especially in grammar school, that was a real, that was a lot of fun. Oh, so, my. Yeah, I got a lot of complexes over that one. I'll bet. Hey, so uh, you did uh, me a, a great injustice here. You know, I was driving home from uh, the mall there with with my lady, with, the, with my new girlfriend. We've been going out for about, well, about five months. But, uh, yeah, your subject came up there, and it really struck a chord with her. I saw her go kind of flush, and then she's like, who's this jerk on the radio, and what's he talking about? And, uh, yeah, that subject hit at home. And the reason for that is, uh, just shortly after I got to know her, then uh, I was uh, one Sunday just sitting around, and, of course, the game's on. And she walked in, and she was not pleased about me watching that football game. And I had never had that happen to me before, and she just was beside herself. And, so what and, did you do about it? Well, I mean, I'm just, of course, I'm trying to figure out what the heck is going on because I'd never had that happen to me before. And then, so, eventually, she just was pissed off all day long. So she was just in a crappy mood all day long. And then, uh, eventually, when we got around to talking about it, um, she gave me the story that, uh, she, you know, she was uh, abused in some way as a child because her parents used to watch sports 
uh, and she would not get any attention. And it just brought up those feelings, and that's the reason that uh, I'm not really allowed to watch the sports. You're not. What do you mean you're not allowed to watch? Well, I mean, I figure, I don't know. I figure, you're not allowed to watch? Pussy. <laughs> you're not allowed? I don't know. I mean, what do you do? You know, I'm with this girl, and I and I want to. I don't want to get into these altercations, so I'm just like, what do I, do? <laughs> I don't know. I just sometimes it's just easier just to just to go and watch it at the, at the bar or whatever instead oh, of like. Oh you my! Know, you have to leave off. your own home to watch sports. Well, it's actually it's her home, so I am I'm kind of a handicapped in that department. But you anyway, live in her home. I do. Why? Well, because I was in a, a very long relationship, uh, and that ended, and I met her, and uh, I'm kind of starting anew, and uh, it, it, it ended up that uh, she's providing the, the place for us to live right now. Unbelievable. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a piece of work. I guess so. Yeah. I count. Uh, thank you. Say hi to the rest of the Chocula family. one 800 5 The mailbox outside the house says the Choculos. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Mike on the Tom Likas show. Hi Tom, first Hi. time, long time. Yes. Uh, I guess I got to be one of the lucky ones. I'm uh, a replacement here. I, I'm actually from New Jersey, and being that the Giants are doing so well this year, and like last year. Uh, I watch the Giants every Sunday, and my wife is right there by my side. She watches the game with me. We have a good time, drink a couple beers. Sometimes I drink more than a couple beers, and it works out great. Wow. Well, as long as she watches with you. Yeah, we have a, we have a good time, you know, uh, even, even if the Giants aren't on. Monday night football, uh, she enjoys football, and uh, I don't think she grasps the game 100 percent but she loves to watch it you're a lucky man oh thank you let me ask you a question tom have you ever been out to the ontario um the new arena out here to see the the king's minor league i have not been out there yet uh, i know it exists it's like uh they tell me it's like a little miniature version of staples center oh, it's a nice stadium i went there to the second game there they unfortunately lost but uh, it's a nice little hockey arena there. I'm going to make a point of coming out because I like hockey at every level. I mean, I watch the nine-year-olds play. I, I always enjoy it. Well, if you ever come out, if you announce it, I'm right here in Rancho Cucamonga. Love to come down and see you. There we go. Sounds good, Mike. Thank you. We should get hooked up. Will the Kings hook us up to watch minor league hockey out in Ontario. The Ontario Reign. R-E-I-G-N. 1-800-5800. How did I know that? I don't know. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Nadja on the Tom Like a Show. Hello. Hi Tom. Hi. Uh, first time caller. Thank you. Recent listener, but I agree with a lot of things you got to say. Um, I'm really glad that I got the opportunity to come on the air because uh, as I was listening to this, I couldn't help but think about um, my ex boyfriend. And his obsession with not only basketball and football, like you said, the Monday night, the Sunday, everything, but cricket. And I don't know if you've ever tried to watch cricket, but they're really like five-hour long games. And they start at 3, 4 in the morning, which in turn I would have to set the alarm. So is he from, where up. is he from, India or England? Where is he from? No, he's, he's from, and he's from um, Hermosa Beach. <laughs> uh, where, <laughs> he where did he even the, get an interest in cricket? He just has this obsession with uh, with cricket. Yeah, but how did it happen? I don't know. I think it was when he was in Italy, and he actually went to the the World Finals, or I don't know, some big thing that they had in the Caribbean for a cricket match. Oh, boy. Yeah. So that was in, you know, I'm, I'm a good sport. Like I said, I could do the basketball and the football, and I would pretend to, to kind of follow with it. But, you know, it... Anybody that is out there listening, try to explain to a woman what, what happens in a cricket game. I mean, it's bad enough trying to follow what happens in baseball for me, but I just I just couldn't get it. It's like a bad baseball game. It's like a bad baseball game, exactly, but it was the most fascinating sport to him, and um, 
I, I have to say, because I, I did love him, and he's a great guy, and I would I would do it. I would sit there and then watch cricket. Wow. So that's the only advice that I would have, would have to the women listeners out there. Um, don't try to fight it. You're never going to understand it. You're never going to win. Just accept it if, um, if you want to have a healthy relationship. I think you're right about that. Kelly on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Um, I had a question. My boyfriend told me to listen to your station. We were living a year ago together. Yeah. And he was telling me that uh, we had a fight about it. We, I put half of the money on the table for every single thing we spent. Uh, he goes out with his friends all the time when he wants. We watch sports the time that he wants. But since he started listening to you, he started changing with me. How so? Right? Yeah, but he works Saturday and Sunday. He makes his own money. And he came on Saturday and for he, some reason, he works Saturday and Sunday. He makes his own money? Extra money for extra jobs. Oh, he has a second job. And yeah, extra jobs. All right. And extra money for himself. But we put the same money on the house for every single thing we spend. And we do laundry together. We do market together. If we make food together. Everything. Right. For people. Yeah. And on a Saturday, he came and he's like, you didn't make food? You didn't wash the dishes? And I'm like, well, no, I got out late on Friday, and I'm just sleeping now. I just want to go to sleep. And he's like, well, you should listen to Tom. And I'm like, oh, Tom, why? What station? He's 97.1. And I was listening to it, and I'm like, I'm not even one of the girls that, that they talk about there. You know, you do whatever you want. You go out. You go out with your friends. We watch sports, even though I, I don't understand them, but we watch them together. You know, and you're coming here complaining that I don't wash dishes and I don't do laundry on a Saturday. You don't put more money than me on the house at all. Well, sounds like you got some big problems over there. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.